I've been in the space, in the data space for about six years or so. Yeah. Prior to that, I was in sales. Mm -hmm. I was in marketing. Mm -hmm. I was I, I, I'm very closely associated with finance. Okay. Prior to that, I was with tech. Uh -huh. What I am very excited about is the future mm -hmm. that AI has to offer us. But what I'm equally concerned is what it would mean to the future of some of our jobs. Yeah. So one of the things I'm very passionate is about giving back to the society because a lot of jobs are going to change yes. over the next decade. Uh -huh. And I personally don't think we are prepared for that. So one of the things that I'm super passionate, it's, it's, it's again, giving back to the society. We are mm -hmm. thinking about from a nonprofit perspective. Oh, interesting. Is to, is to work on training. Mm -hmm. For example, if I, when I look at finance, I can easily see how some of these finance jobs are going to look very different. Yes. But when I look at what are the training programs to get them from point A to point B, mm -hmm. I don't see it. So I'm very passionate about giving back to the society and investing. And I've got three other friends, two other friends who are working with me for that. So that's what I'm passionate about. I'm very excited about the future of AI. Yes. But at the same time, I want to give back to the society and help the people to adopt to the age of AI. What type of advantage do you think that you have that you have held several roles outside of data science and AI before you joined this space as a leader compared to perhaps maybe some of your peers who have been kind of on a steady path throughout their entire career? Because I, I think that puts you at a unique advantage. Yeah, so when my, when my, when my clients ask me something, mm -hmm. I, I understand that very quickly what they're asking, why they're asking, because right. I've been at their, in their shoes at right. some point of time. Mm -hmm. So that gives me a unique advantage. Uh, another advantage is that uh, I can talk business. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I talk the language that they understand. Right. Uh, I think one of the problems I have seen is and with some of my you know, other colleagues is that you know I see one person talking data language, the other person talking business language. You need a third person to interpret between right. business and yeah. data. Right. Uh, I don't get into that trouble, so yeah. that, that puts me at a very that's uh, fantastic. Great, uh, position. Yeah.